I went to, I grew up in St. Louis, went to college in Arkansas. Um, and then after college, I was sticking around in Arkansas. I had like a, like, uh, a whole array of different odd jobs that I had. I was a farmer. I was a teacher. You were a farmer? I was a farmer. Yeah, okay. I had my own farm. Can we talk a little bit more about like farm life? Because that's really interesting <laughs> to me. I don't think I've ever met someone who was once a farmer. Yeah. So when what I was specifically when I was in college, I did a couple of like sustainable farming, like apprenticeships basically, mm-hmm. and like learned how to farm. And then um, after college, I... I got the opportunity to lease a farm with um, a few people, and we just made, like, a huge <coughs> no-till vegetable plot and sold the vegetables at market and um, had some chickens as well. Oh, my God, that's so wholesome. It was really good. It was really, really wholesome. But I, I decided after a while farming, I was like, okay, this is a lot of responsibility. For I was, like, 23 or something 22 it was like a lot of responsibility for me at that point in time because like I just I just hadn't ventured out yet yeah in my like young adult life and running a farm is a lot yeah at 23 it's a very serious commitment yes and I think that like once I return to having a farm I want to have like dairy animals and stuff like that which is an even bigger commitment yeah and so I felt like I was kind of half in half out and I was like let me just do some other stuff and so I went from that to doing um like different community gardening type things I was Mm -hmm. doing community gardening like food literacy for at-risk youth and stuff like that working at shelters 